So I think the vision is it's so wide, and then it's a good vision uh, because that vision it's it's giving help to the people, and then keep feeding them, help them in different ways. But that I didn't want to mention all of them like one, two, three, four, five. But it's a lot. Uh, I think it's a good idea, and then people in Haiti appreciate that, and then they come everywhere in Haiti to come to that clinic. As you mentioned just a couple of times before, someone from Laguna. So you know Laguna is another land in the oceans just by itself there. And then people from there a lot to come here. So I think the vision it's help a lot. And then the heartbeat, that's from our God. And then many people in Haiti, they said if he doesn't here, they're gonna lose a lot of people. And then he was involved in any kind of things. Build houses for some people, help people in food, and then surgery, a lot of things, give past medicine every day. So the visions and the heartbeat, it's mixed together. You cannot even see the vision, you cannot see the heartbeat. It's, it's like alcohol in water. <laughs> so for the clinic, it's working different days. Since I could say it's every day, instead of the, the weekend, uh, uh, like Saturday and Sunday, even that, I think there is someone here take over for the weekend for the dressing. Like, you know, many people is hurt, burning, uh, another, another accident can, like people is cutting so deep, and then they need to have a surgery every day. Like, even for the blood sugar, someone, someone come for the shot every day for the blood sugar. So it's the reason why it's non-stop. I cannot say 20 hour on 20 hour, but uh, during the days, it's not stop. Even sometimes at night, people coming, they give them the services. So, so talk about that. So the different houses, it's for the different kids also. But I can't even tell you which one of them, which kids over, which kids in here. But I know they separate the kids if, uh, as the degree that they have the problem. Like, they don't even mix all of them. They separate them uh, about the, like I could say, the ways that they see the kids. They separate to say, okay, you're going in that category. I'm going to take care of you on, on that category. But the ICU and the, the other one that's upstairs there, over there, uh, it's different kids in it. Like I think sometimes they, they start with it when they say some change, they separate them to the other places, you know? But it's all feeding program for the little kids. They keep them here, feed them, because they fight the kids, not because they come in and they get to say, I have the kids to give you to feed it for me. They come to the clinic and they, when the nurse examine, do the ex examination, they see they don't want to let him go back home. They keep that kids feed the kids, give medicine, pay people to work with that kids, and then when you feel better, when you be, being as a kid, and then they call mom or send someone to fight the mom, because sometimes it's difficult to find the houses where they farm. They send someone on the mountain, even in, at the city, uh, to find the people, the address, to say, okay, they, your, your kid is ready, now you can come and take it. But the car hospital is some, we only have only one in Haiti, the whole Haiti. We are only one Korea hospital, but there is some stations. But when it, but this is a fixed one. Even the government know that this is only Kazal we can find a hospital where they treat cholera all the time. Even there isn't any people. There is a nurse up, the, up there because they doesn't know when they will find one coming. But even sometimes it's a lot of people. But sometimes there is no one. Uh, even there is one coming. There is a nurse there to take care of that because. That's for any time it's gonna happen, yeah. you know. But they save a lot of life too. When that's first start, the cholera was first start. They don't have even place. They don't have bed. Sometimes they 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 take care of the key of the person on a chair because they don't have any beds to to let them lie down. But they don't have yeah they don't have enough bed. Sometimes they they just have a chair to say okay try to see if you can stay there because we don't have a bed to give you. So for here, uh, I could say 
maybe all of them have different churches they already went to. But when they came here, they see these missions, uh, they see God involved in it too. Because they have a, a prayer program before they start with anything. Even when the worker is coming to work in the morning, they have a little devotion inside before they start working. And then all the groups, they pray, they sing and pray uh, to give God glory before everything. But uh, the first thing they did, it's start by prayer, pray and then we take over to pass the medicine. But it is preaching also. That, that is the principal thing that you're supposed to be, a, a disciple for, for God. Because if you, <laughs> if you not to, what, what is your hope? But I think it's God's work first, and then uh, your hope is when God's coming, you'll be ready to, to go in the sky. That's not a lie. It's, that, it's what the Bible says. Work for God, and then your hope is for the sky. You give what you can. Maybe sometimes they have finances, they give the money if someone cannot. But like I could say for Asian people, they must pray because they don't have anything to give. But maybe the American people, they pray and then they give also. But I don't know much about that to say, okay, they pray and then they give. But I know for Haitian people, most of them say, okay, uh, may God bless you all. Well, anytime they do something good, they say, okay, thank you, thanks so much. God is going to bless you more. When they pray like this, you guys, maybe you got uh, more, they, they pray so that you can give more. <laughs> <You know? laughs> all the time they came, I already, I already knew that before so that I can, even I have something to do, I can stop it. I know I will have a team so that I can work with them and then translate for them for any for any kind of things that I need supposed I need supposed to do with them. All kind of doctors, all kind of the problem, any even it's in your body. I think Haiti need all of you guys. I don't know which part you study in God's in, in human body. Even you eyes doctor, uh, we have people in here who got problem. Your legs pro doctor, we got people for you. You neck problem, uh, uh, you neck doctor, we have uh, people for you. You, 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 uh, 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 doctors, we have you. You teeth doctors, we have people for you. But for all kind of categories of doctor, we have uh, 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 people that's waiting for you. Just let the, the, uh, the staff, they will have hate is no, and then they're gonna f looking for that person for you. exactly the person that you want to see. Just let them, them know first to say, okay, I'm coming for a heart. And then they're going to find people that's problem in the heart, waiting, a lot of people going to be there for you. Say thief, you're going to have a lot of people waiting for you. Say eyes, you're going to have a lot of people waiting for you. Just let them know before you're coming, and then you see the people that you need. If I would, if I would like to say, I would say, oh, God, bring, bring your country to Haiti. But that's not mean anything. But I think for you first, you need to have your your desire to do what you want to do. Uh, you need to have God present in, in your heart, not because someone forced you to do what you doesn't have desire to do, but do it as God uh, make you hear to listen to the voice of God and then do what God tells you to do. But it's what I can tell you. If you know of a ministry that we need to know about, please give us a call, 888-641-8606 or take a look at our website, revelationstv.org.